a dreary day at Dick North Memorial Field on the campus of East Lime High School, but it's always sunny on game day. Welcome, everybody, to the initial broadcast of the season for game day. Casey O'Neill, along with the coach, Rob Rule, we always bring you in when we do soccer, and we've got a beautiful soccer doubleheader today, the East Lime, Old Lime, boys and girls, with a little early showdown in the season, doubleheader night here in East Lime. Yeah, you can't beat a game like this, a little, a little derby action going the first game of the year for uh, the, the Wildcats. Um, I can see this being a, a real good game. It's going to be close, even though East Lime played last night. Uh, maybe some tired legs. This is a rivalry game, and you're going to see the best of both these teams tonight. The first of many broadcasts this fall in fall sports in southeastern Connecticut. And as always, you wonder where he is. Well, he's lurking somewhere nearby, the third member, but number one in our hearts, yeah, that's my, right. my partner, Keith O'Brien, sports doctor. Hey, Casey, good to be back on game day, 2018 style. Thanks for the coach for sitting in, too. And Coach talked about this. Two teams chomping at the bit. Old Lime ready to get on the field. East Lime a game in hand. And the biggest game of the year as to the Old Lime team. Casey, this should be a lot of fun. Great doubleheader soccer tonight. Well, we know that soccer is, like we said, that's what brings the coach out. And, Coach, two of the premier programs in Eastern Connecticut, Old Lime, the Wildcats in white, East Lime, the Vikings in their traditional maroon, and we are underway. Yeah, I think these guys are going to get after it pretty quickly, test each other quick, try to get the ball behind each other's backs a little bit, see how this goes in the first five minutes. Talk a little bit about the styles that we're going to see today from these teams, both very skilled, but what, what are we looking for from Old Lime and East Lime stylistically? I think both teams are going to play. I talked to Coach Vendetto, and I also talked to uh, Coach Christensen before the game. They're going to go a traditional 4-4-2, play two guys up front, Look to play balls into feet up there, play the way they face. Uh, I think it's well-skilled teams, well-skilled players. A lot of them play all year round, so you're not going to see the ball thumped up and down the field all night long. I think you're going to see a possession-type game, and it's could come down to a set piece here and there. East Lime, of course, is going to want to get the ball onto the feet of its two main offensive threats. We're talking, of course, about captains Matt Kung and Alec Kaczynski. Kaczynski, in particular, a dynamic goal scorer. Saw that last night in their win over Waterford. Uh, anytime he has the ball, he's dangerous. Yeah, he's a playmaker. You know, Alec has been a playmaker since he's been nine years old. Um, he gets after it. He, re he times his runs really well up front. He's dynamic. He can use both feet. And I, I was talking to Coach C before the game, and he's on a watch list for all New England this year. And that's well said and, and well earned by Alec. On the other side of things, Old Lime has some skill up front as well. Looking, looking at Peter Sherman and Evan Getz, two very dangerous scorers on their own. Uh, a lot of uh, technical precision, you can see it. Uh, Coach Venditti puts a lot of emphasis on spacing, uh, really doing a good job, uh, you know, distributing the ball equally amongst his players. And you see right here in the early going, uh, very good job of controlling the ball by Old Lime. Yeah, sh as Sherman goes, Old Lime goes. If he do if he plays well, Old Lime will have a good night tonight. He's uh, right now in the midfield, uh, center mid position, but as he gets going, he gets touches on the ball. Uh, he's going to find the wit the width of the field. So. Early shot on goal that time goes wide from East Lyme. And let's talk a little bit about the keepers because two incredibly physical uh, differences between the keepers. For Old Lyme, Ryan Tatro, if I want a keeper, I want a keeper with a mohawk. And that's what <laughs> Ryan Tatro brings. He's a, he's a very powerfully built keeper, not particularly tall, uh, but very, very powerful. Uh, and on the other side of things, Sunil Lyle, the uh, senior keeper for East Lyme, very tall, lanky, very more of a traditional keeper build. Uh, and both of these guys, however, are in very important parts of this team, not just defensively, but jump-starting how their offenses flow from the back. Yeah, I watched a little bit of the game last night, and I saw in goal uh, for East Lyme, they were steady, uh, good positioning, good athletic body, uh, strong hands. And then you look at the other side of the field, you know, the goalkeeper is athletic, strong, quick to the ball, anticipates well. Um, you're right, Casey. The the goalkeepers on both on both of these teams are going to play a major part in this game. They're good, both going to come up with a big save tonight. Well, we've just underway here at East Lime, and as you would expect with two teams in the early going, sort of feeling each other out. Uh, East Lime in control right now with a toss in from Ben Jakubzak, and he's going to play it down the sideline and gets it onto the foot of Kurt Malky and out of bounds, and it'll be back to old line ball. And both of these teams in the early going just trying to sort of work each other methodically, get it into a playmaker's, uh, you know, onto someone's foot to make a, 
Uh, just a good shot at this point. I think the first really good shot of the game sort of loosens everything up. It does. I think Old Lime, you're going to see some more deliberate play in the middle third of the field with them. I don't think they're going to, you know, you know, take too many chances. They're going to let the play develop. They're going to try to play the way they face. Um, Coach Vendetto does a nice job of organizing his team, keeping his width, keeping his shape, and they're going to methodically work the ball up the field where I think – East Lime, at its best, will be a counterattack team. We'll find the gaps and use their speed and athleticism to get by these guys. Ball in the middle of the field, controlled by the Vikings. A little whiff right there, but played back to Chillum Kurthy. And Chillum Kurthy uh, with a little miscommunication that time with Finn Power. And it'll be turnover and old line ball. Throw in from old line from Angus Tresden. And he'll get the ball back. Tries to make a move, but there's Kaczynski to intercept. And a little sloppy in the early going, but old line corrects. And Chillum Kurthy does a nice job stepping in. And East Lime will try to transition. There's Kung with the ball. Nice ball up ahead. He flows it onto Finn Power's feet. Power tries to cut inside, but a nice defensive play that time by Avery Welch. Stepped in front and will be a corner. throw into a corner. Yep, corner, and Kaczynski will take it. And here's the first special of the day opportunity here for East Lime. Yeah, absolutely. This is where you you know as a coach if your kids are ready to play or not. <laughs> First five minutes of the game, corner kick. Can you get the ball up and out? Keep an eye on Kung. He's far post making a run in from the 18. Low ball in front and cleared out nicely that time by Quinn Romeo, one of the captains of old line. But it will stay corner and Kaczynski will take it again. This time high, shooting back post. Oh, there's Kung with an opportunity nicely defended by Getz, and it'll be a throw-in for East Lime. Nice ball that time. A different look from Kaczynski. Yeah, great ball. Great ball right to the six. Ooh, that could be. Yeah, a little step in that time. Manthaus had a had a step and got knocked from behind by the old Lime defender, so it'll be a kick for East Lime. That's what Duncan can do for East Lime, though, as a compliment, complimentary player to Alec. He can take people on off the dribble, and he can create some things. You know, when he's, when he's focused and ready to go, he's one of the best players in the league. So, it was good, a great move. Good look here for East Lime. Low line drive and a save. Ball's loose out front. Needs to be cleared. East Lime trying to get another foot on it. Old Lime looking to clear. And out of bounds. And it will go to a goal kick that time. Those dangerous low saves. Ball gets bounced out. Tatro did a nice job getting down low on the shot. But it's always dangerous when the ball scoots out in front. Yeah, he sure did. His defense in front of him did a nice job. You see? You defend as a team, and they just helped him out right there. But this slick grass, you know, the slick turf, I mean, you got, you, he did a nice job stopping that play. Yeah, I, I just still marvel at the distance these keepers can get from the goal kick. Here's a little run. Old Lime with an opportunity on a rush. Ball goes back. Here's a ball down into the corner. Welch tries to keep it in. A little chip, and it'll be off the side of the net. Goal kick for East Lime. Well, you just saw the ability, you know, for these guys to counterattack. And get up the field quickly. Good job by old Lyme. Yeah, Evan Getz is a very talented player in the midfield. And he uh, he and Welch that time combined on a little one-two. And, you know, you always got, like you said, you always got to keep your eyes on Sherman. But old Lyme, no shortage of talented players up front. Yeah. You know, Quinn did a nice job up there. Nice job that time playing back to the keeper. And Lyle kind of a miss hit on the kick. Doesn't does not clear. And Old Lime looking to take advantage. No score here in the early going between the Wildcats of Old Lime and the Vikings of East Lime. Old Lime will control, plays out to Malazzo. Malazzo with a little touch. Here's a pass into the middle, looking they were for Sherman, but couldn't connect. And now a run out for East Lime. And Old Lime trying to keep it in. East Lime showing off some skills here in the middle of the field. And Old line will control. There's Sherman with the ball. Sherman and Kaczynski. There's two great players right there. And Sherman tried to shoot it long to his teammate Welch, but a little too much mustard on that one. And it will become East Lime throw. Yeah, you got to remember, Old Lime trains and plays on grass all the time. They don't have turf, so it's going to take them a little while to get used to the pace. But a lot of these kids play premier, and they train on turf, so they're kind of used to it. But, you know, 10 days of training on grass, and you're coming on turf. It's a different game. Law with a goal kick. Sherman with a head ball. East Lime will just clear. And Old Lime will be content to play it back to Tatro. Tatro, quick transition, puts it right back in the middle of the field. Nice job by Malky by East, of East Lime to put it back into the offensive end. Here's Kung 
Kong with a little move, going to look to try to get a shot off, gets it in step inside, and a nice play defensively by Nick Fava. And out of bounds, it will be a, should be a corner kick for East Lime. It will be, and Manthaus will take it from the far side this time. Now you got to keep your eyes on Kaczynski because they're going to want to try to get the ball into onto his foot. Manthaus with a little hooking banana. There's a head ball and just missed wide that time by Joey Grubb. Got a head on it and just wide. That's one of those dangerous deflections where the direction of the ball changes. And old line fortunate that it went wide and they will have a goal kick. Yeah, now you're seeing two corners or two crosses and East Lime getting their head on it. You know, so you're looking like a little mismatch there in the middle. Nice aggressive play by East Lime. Ball's loose in the backside end now. Kaczynski from the 10-yard line is going to look. Chips in front and no one home, and it'll be cleared by Old Lyme. Welch with a head ball. Up ahead now it goes to Getz, and out of bounds, and a throw in from Chill McCarthy. And we're going to have a whistle man down on the East Lyme side. That's Finn Power. Looks like he got a maybe a foot to the calf and he's up and all right and Chillum Kurthy will take the direct he'll have a kick from about midfield I'm going to plop it down and they're going to, he's going to turn it over instead to Grubb good size Joey Grubb the junior powerful low line drive headed out and controlled by Old Lime now here's a little touch to Welch uh, he tries to do a little touch pass but intercepted by the Vikings and again, the action pretty much has all been in between the, you know, the 30s. Here's a little run now. Arsenal, and it's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay East Line ball. Yeah, you can see with four in the back. I mean, you, it's really hard to penetrate when they're, you know, you're you're just dropping as a four. So the defense is just trying to keep East Line in front of them. Both teams, I think, seem pretty content at exactly that, playing playing the game from the back. Uh, waiting for their opportunities, very patience. patient. Yeah. Patience, yeah, it is. It's, it's a sign of a disciplined team, really. I mean, patience is taught. You know, it's not, not always something you have. Nice steal in front by Power. Power now and a whistle on the field. We're going to... That looked like a, an advantage, possibly. Got waved off. Yeah. Give him the free kick. So they're going to move the ball back out. And let's send it down to the sidelines to the sports doctor. Sports doctor. Hey, Casey, just had a chance to talk to head coach for East Lyme, Paul Christensen. He said, you know, we're coming out a little flat today. We had a, you know, a late game last night. We got back at 930, he says, but he'd rather be in this position because everybody's in the same boat. At least he knows what he's got out there. He's going to sub in a lot of kids. He's going to play a lot of young guys, but East Lyme, a little flat right now. Thank you, sports doctor. Yeah, a little bit. You said this coming off, and we'll talk about that in a moment as Kaczynski's going to have the free kick. Tries to chip it out in front over everybody. It's loose in front. Here's a ball. And, oh, dangerous, but save made by Tatro. A missed opportunity by the Vikings. Absolutely. That's one that he's going to think about later tonight if it ends 0-0 today. You know, we talked a little bit before. Old Line playing its first game. East Line playing back-to-back -back games, having opened last night with a win over Waterford. What do you think is the bigger disadvantage? The tie, you know, the fatigue of back-to-back -back or the rust of not having played a game yet? I always think rust. I think after a first game, you're in just such better shape because you know what your teammates are going to do under pressure. Um, you know, other people will disagree. They want fresh legs, you know, in the guy's game to, to run at people. But I, I like the idea of having a game under my belt, playing with my teammates and being ready. You know, tired leg, he's going to sub. Coach C is one of the best coaches in the league. He's going to sub his kids in and out. They had 85 kids try out for the team. So, wow. You know, so they made cuts, and they have deep teams, deep roster, so he can play a lot of kids, unlike old line. So – Smaller roster, and the yep. direct kick will be from, excuse me, the quick kick from about the 35-yard line will be from Malky of the Vikings. That's a good ball. Ball in the air. Out comes Tatro with a punch. Ball loose in front, and a beautiful job in front by Old Lime. Ball loose again, and it will go wide. Old Lime credit Sherman and Jesper Silberg. Mm -hmm. Silberberg that time for getting a body in front of a loose ball. An opportunity missed again. That ball was right in front with no keeper. Your defensive player's got to get a body on it, and they did. That was a great service. Great service in the box. Made the, made the keeper make a decision. Stay in your line or come off, you know? Perfect ball. Headed back now. It goes to Tresnan. 
Tresden in for Old Lyme. And we're going to call that 22 is Avery Welch. Avery Welch for Old Lime now drops back. Throw in from East Lime. Kaczynski. Ball loose. And there's Sherman for Old Lime. Sherman puts it onto the feet of Getz. And Getz loses it. And, of course, Getz gets it back. Yeah. And then loses it again. Nice ball that time by Manthaus. There's a shot, a deflection, and a save by Tatro. That was, by the way, that was Adam Syed that got the, uh, his body on the ball to deflect that shot from East Lime. Uh, Grubb had an opportunity in front, and Syed stepped inside. And we're going to get a whistle as Sherman trips up Kung. And East Lime will retain possession. Kung puts his hands up like, you know, can I get a little help here? And he will. He does get help. And there comes the official over to talk to Sherman. Just explaining why he threw blew the whistle. I like that. I like that control from an official. No, you know, no card, nothing too crazy. Just blow the whistle, go over and explain to the young man what what he saw, and yep. you know, give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, Joe filippetti has been a, a referee a long time, seasoned guy, uh, one of the better refs. Nice ball from Grub Kaczynski now going one on one. Kaczynski puts it in front, and a nice job deflecting it by Old Lime. A run on and a shot from Jakubzak, but. That goes out of bounds. Nice job, again, by Syed in front in order to deflect that ball off the shot in front by Kaczynski. And Old Lime will try to bring it out of their end. A little overlapping run that time down the sideline. Wanted it, was calling for it, was Tim O'Brien, who's been very quiet on the sideline. He's one of their better skilled players on the wing, but he's been a little bit quiet so far. They haven't worked that side of the field since the early going. No, we haven't switched the point of attack yet. Uh, here's a here's an opportunity right now to change the point. Tresnan to Sherman. Sherman back in front to Malazzo. Malazzo puts it in front, and Lal will get there for East Lime ahead of the on-rushing Avery Welch. That was a little bit better by Old Lime going forward with some numbers. Yeah, that was the real first set time. Now here's Sherman, dangerous. One man to beat. Oh, and a nice job by Chillum Kurthy. To get a foot on the ball, and it will stay East Line, uh, old line ball. But Chillum Kurthy stopped uh, Sherman before he could get started. Yeah, that was uh, he needed to. <laughs> old line was had numbers going forward, so that was a good play. Sherman, it reminds me of uh, of the guys you see in in the you know Premier League. He's a he looks like a small guy from England. Yeah, he's like tiny, Scottish, yeah, a little yeah, Scottish, little Scottish guy, yeah. guy. You know, he tall, yeah, built like a little yeah. fire plug, but, yeah. he, but eminently skilled. Tall muscle. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but not an ounce of body fat anywhere nope. on him. You look at the calves are bursting out of the back of his socks. <laughs> yeah, we like him. Uh, absolutely. When, yeah. And I love the fact that he's got the – I love the kids with the motors, the guys that just go, go, go the whole time. Yeah, they do all the grunt work, you know, those center mids. You know, they do all the work, sideline to sideline, up and back. East Lime loses the ball. Now here's a little play in the middle, a little pass back. Off the foot of Getz going far side to O'Brien. O'Brien on the far corner, and before he can get a foot on it, East Lime does a nice job shielding him out of bounds, and the Vikings will take over. 23 minutes here in the first half, no score. East Lime, Old Lime, and you're listening and watching Game Day live on the day.com. Casey O'Neill along with the coach, Rob Rule, the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien, down on the sidelines as we are jump-starting our fall season with doubleheader soccer. The East Lime and Old Lime boys, and immediately following this, the East Lime and Old Lime girls. <laughs> Uh, two classic Eastern Connecticut battles of rivals, non-conference rivals, which I absolutely love. And as expected, these two skilled teams very patient here in the early going. Yeah, I think right now you're starting to see old Lyme kind of get their outside midfielders up a little higher in the attack. I think Coach Vendetta over there is actually getting these guys up. You're not going to win this game if you, you, you defend with seven. So he's getting them up. There's a rarity, illegal throw on uh, on old Lyme. Uh, Angus Tresnan that time got the whistle. A little too hasty with the throw. And instead, East Lyme will have an opportunity, and they'll throw it in. It'll be Finn Power here on the near sideline, right about midfield. And controlled instead by old Lyme, but then Kung does a nice job. Uh, he looked for Kaczynski but couldn't get him and quickly switched in the other direction. Here's an opportunity for Old Lime, but too many people to the ball. And now they're going to spread it out. 
There goes Tresnan. That's a, a great little, ball. little run through that time with Romeo. Romeo puts it out far side and off the foot and out of bounds of Welch. He was looking for Welch. Nice ball that time through the midfield by Old Lyme. Yeah, that was a nice touch by, by Tresnan. It was a Tresnan Angus, you know. Great little ball, great feel, great touch. Split those two defenders. Close on. That's what I want for a name for a soccer player, too. Angus. Angus. Angus is a good name for a soccer player. It is. There's a nice Another ball great. that time. Welch now, but out of bounds. A nice touch that time. That's Trezenin again. Yeah, he's got a nice little touch. He's got, he reads the game well. And you can see Trezenin and Welch very comfortable playing with each other. They kind of have a natural idea of where the other is going. Oh, what a beautiful move by Kaczynski down the sideline. Retains possession. Oh, he is tricky on down there. He sure is. He gets you off your, you know, off-footed, man. He's, he's tearing you up. Swenson, oh, beautifully done by Tresnan. Takes it away, but right under the foot of Kaczynski. Kaczynski and Kong, little 1-2 game, just out of the reach. And cleared, but it'll stay in as East Lime is able to get there first. And down the sidelines, he loses it as Jakubczyk. And it will become, stay, it'll stay East Lime ball, and they'll have a throw on the far sideline. It looks like a, it looks like a direct kick. Oh, you're right. Yep. Delayed, yeah, delayed call. Good stuff by the referee. You know, give him a chance to get around that defender. He didn't call it. Aiden Arsenal will have the free kick for East Lime on the far sideline. Ball put in front. Loose and headed out of bounds. Swenson? It was it was Swenson with an opportunity, and that'll be an old Lime goal kick from Tetro. Yeah, Coach C talked about Swenson coming off the bench. You know, coming off and adding a little bit of, you know, size. You know, a little bit of speed up front. Senior as well, experienced. Exactly. You know, that's a, that's a good advantage to have. Uh, you know, a lot of teams are, are forced to bring underclassmen and inexperienced guys off the bench. And, uh, you know, not East Lyme. Not yeah. East Lyme, like you said, a deep team. They're able to bring a, a veteran senior with a lot of size and skills and bring him in with fresh legs. Yeah, and he's been playing with these guys for, what, 10, 15 years? So he knows what to expect. He knows his role when he's playing with Alec up front. Quaratella that time for Old Lyme. He's new into the game, and he'll have the throw. That's Jake Quaratella. And he puts it into Sherman. Sherman with a little dipsy do and a little bicycle style kick over the back of his head. Now onto the foot of Getz. Getz slides. And East Lime is able to clear, but onto the foot of Warren. And Warren, I said, I don't like that ball, and I'll tell you why. I don't like I like the I like conceptually that you immediately think to turn. But you got time. Yeah. You got time. He just turned and he put it to a space which in theory is usually good. You know, put it to space, but he had time to look, and he had time to give his uh, his offensive player a way more an advantage to run onto that ball. Yeah, every coach and you know every coach uses the word composure, you know, and it's hard when you're in the derby. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is, and it's hard because if you you know you take half a second too long, you lose the ball, and it you know which I which I understand is is. And as a coach, <laughs> <laughs> as a coach, former coach, I think I'd have something to say. Somebody held on the ball too long in the wrong place. Yeah, you say, get rid of it. Yes. Put it into space. Not you know there. it. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Oh, Sherman comes in and steals the ball, but cannot quite get to it. And it'll be East Lime throw. 18 minutes remaining here in the first half. No score at East Lime High School. Old Lime, East Lime, and you're watching game day. Uh, Chillin Curthy that time knocks it off of the Old Lime defender, and he'll take a quick throw. And he fans on the throw. And he's not gonna get, he wanted it back like he was yeah. got a do-over. There's no do-overs. He's negotiating with the referee. That time, wet ball down there. Just Chill McCarthy just lost it. It literally whiffed. Yeah. And then the you old see, line dries it off. That's right. Old line guy comes in. Quinn Romeo comes yeah. in with the ball and yeah. says, I'm well, I'm not. Off. That's right. I have a shirt. I'll take care of that. <laughs> he wants, you know why? Because he wants the long throw. Does Romeo in front looking for Sherman. Little flick in front. And Sherman can't quite get to it on the rebound. And a long Volley from deep from Malazzo, out of bounds, and it will become East Lime on the goal kick. Yeah, we used to be called that ambitious, you know? But guess what? Can't score if you don't shoot, so. Yeah, that time Malazzo and Romeo both were waiting for the yeah. volley from about 30 yards out. And I've always been, especially on a wet field like today on turf, Hard where low. early yeah. in the game, uh, I've always been a big believer in putting shots on goal yep. early, yep. Uh, giving yourself rebounds and opportunities. You never know how the ball is going to bounce, especially on a wet field early season. Yeah, but I always forget you're a little soccer guru <laughs> over there at Whaler Nation. You know, I forgot. Well, you know, it's, it's funny. I went down on the field earlier and uh, to introduce myself to Coach Venditti because I hadn't met him yet. Yeah. 
And Coach uh, Christensen comes over and goes, you'd never know looking at this guy that he was a keeper back in the day in high school. <laughs> and I said, I might be a little you generous. You were legit. You oh. were legit, <laughs> Stop it, O'Neal. I, you were legit. He said, uh, he said he was a very physical keeper, played a little more like <laughs> rugby. I said, That's, now there's an honest there's an honest statement. <laughs> East Lime on the offensive attack. Nice job, Old Lime. You know, very calm. Old Lime defensively does not seem to get rattled. Uh, they stay in their stay home in their positions, don't get out of spacing. Yeah. Uh, but East Lime has definitely been – uh, the more advantageous of the two teams up till now. Yeah, I think, you know, that's what you get when you get one of the best players in the state of Connecticut up front. You know, you're, you have instant offense. Here, here comes a good ball in. Ball in front. Old line with an opportunity to clear and nicely done. O'Brien just punches it out with the left foot. Much better there defensively, you know, getting that ball up and out. And it will be East Line ball. But, you know, I, my experiences with soccer – have less to do with soccer and more to do with just sports in general. And I, and I always believed that uh, in the early part of games, any, make your opponent do things in the early going. Don't let them settle into the game. Uh, force the action. You know, I'm, from the, I'm from the Gil Varges school of baseball where you, you run early in games right. and you bunt and you hit and run. You make teams do things. And in soccer, you put shots on goal. Make the, the keeper make a save. You never know. Maybe you get a rebound. Maybe yep. you just get... Get a corner. That's get right. A, yeah, it's it's called act, not react. And I think that's a lot of these guys, the successful coaches at every level, they, they do. They preach the same thing. We're going to act, not react. We're not going to worry about what they're going to do. We're going to go out and do it. A nice ball okay, up ahead. Kaczynski. Could be dangerous. Puts it on the left foot and a beautiful job by Nick Fava. Fava clearly the defensive leader yeah. for old line. And you know he's also been told to know where Kaczynski is at all times because every time Kaczynski's gotten a shot off, Fava's been there. Yeah, he was, he's, he's been told number three does not run free. So great, great closing speed too by Fava. We're going to have a corner kick from Kaczynski on the near corner and a whistle. Let's see what do we have going on here. They're going to put it back out, or? Getting a re-kick. After we get this kick, we got the sports doctor on the sidelines. Wants to give us some info. Here's a nice punch out by Tatro. What a beautiful job. Comes out and gets it again, and headed out by Sherman. And East Line will have to reset, and Sherman punches it out. Let's go down to the sports doctor who's got something on the sideline for us. Sports doctor. Yeah, hey, Casey. Listen, I had a chance to talk to head coach Mark Vendetti, and you wouldn't know it by today, but it's been 90 degrees all week, and practice time and, and scheduling has been a little bit erratic. He's just worried about his team being in game shape. You know what I'm saying? Practice is practice. We're out here for real for now. So his team right now early going, just trying to get the legs underneath him a little bit. That's a great point, Sports Doctor. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. You do forget on a cool day, like a night like tonight, it feels very much like fall, but it's been nothing but summer for the past week. Um, practices have been canceled in a lot of places. Schools have been dismissing early uh, for this kind of late summer weather that we've gotten. And you're right, getting your body uh, ready for game shape on a hot week beforehand is a challenge. It's an excellent point by Coach Venditti. Chillum Curthy before East Lime. Let's the ball go out of bounds, and he'll take the throw. Let's see if he does better this time. Still wet. Didn't get a best on it that time, but a little head flick by Kong. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be old line ball. He's saw him staying very organized defensively in their defensive third. Not, not drag, getting dragged out of the middle. Oh, know? beautiful move. Kaczynski that time, but he can't get through Syed, another one of the prime defenders for old line. And a little shake-up in the midfield. There's Sherman. Oh, he can't get through Kong. Nice job. Kong, very fundamental. Wasn't going to get megged that time by Sherman, who was looking to go through the wickets. It's quite the battle between uh, <laughs> Kong and Sherman there, huh? Two very good players. Yep. They know Kung each other. Senior, yeah. yeah, they know each other. They, they, they're competitors, but probably best friends off the field. So, yeah, they're, they're going at Probably it. played together since they were, you know, four years old against, against each other. Against each other, yeah. yeah. Kick from East Lime will come off the foot of Malky. Left foot puts it on goal all the way down to the 18 and headed out by Old Lime. Sherman got a head on at that time and a whistle. It will be Old Lime ball. And really, Old Lime has not had a legitimate scoring opportunity yet. They've had a couple of runs, but not even a real shot on goal yet. East Lime, on the other hand, has had three or four opportunities right in front of the net on loose balls. But they also haven't had a real legit shot on goal yet. So we're 
12 and a half minutes left here in the first half, and we've yet to see what I would call the first true shot on goal. Yeah, and I, I don't think they're going to sway far from the script. I think they're going to stay pretty organized, trying to be methodical. Nice work by Malky, the big guy for East Lime. Heads in, left foot, puts it in front. Oh, an opportunity. It goes right through Swenson. Swenson had to try to use the back foot as he was sort of out of position, and it went right through him. And on the other side of the field, a break for Old Lime. East Lime missed opportunity. Yeah, great stuff by, was it Kurt right there? Malky? Yeah. yeah, Malky that time with Malky. a left foot. It was a great look. That's what you want to see out of your center midfielder, though. Take control of the game. Be dangerous. Yeah, he started with physicality in the midfield, and you know, by by stealing the ball, controlling it, and then found himself in a great position and had Sve had Swenson on a beautiful run, just couldn't quite connect. Yep. Far sideline, O'Brien, for old line, looking for some help, and plays it to Romeo, and Romeo is hit from behind. That'll be an old line uh, ball. Throw in by Old Lime. And no one home. And East Lime out of the midfield will clear it. Swenson does a nice job that time for Old Lime taking it back. And Old Lime steals in the midfield. They'll play it back to Quaratella. Now up ahead it goes to Welch. Welch, little triangle action that time in the midfield. Romeo, Sherman, back to Romeo. And really, again, very, very disciplined. East Lime, nothing there. Yeah. Ch Chillum Kuthri there again. <laughs> yep, kind of wanted to see Quinn, Romeo go out the other way there, keep the point of attack being switched, get it out, you know. Um, that'll come halftime when Coach gets him. When Coach Venditti talks to him. Here's an opportunity for Old Lime on the near sideline. Sherman's going to take the kick. Looking for a guy. There's a ball oh, in front. A little hook. Great ball. Loose ball. And a beautiful save what by Lowe. What a save. What a great effort. Beautiful ball by Sherman. Far post. He got the one-timer, but Lowe was there to stop the volley. Beautifully done. Uh-oh. Turnover. Kaczynski with free ground. Beautiful move to the outside. Left foot looking to get off a shot. Goes wide. Let's one fire. In front. Oh, and he just missed Swenson again. This is more what I thought it would be looking like tonight. End to end. The first true save of the game made by Sunil Lau. That was gorgeous. But that's what Coach C said about Sunil. He makes the big save at the big moment. There you go. There it was. And that's the first save of the game. That's the first true shot. And it was legit. It was a volley low down to the... On target. Oh, yeah. it was beautifully done. And he went down and got it. Yep. On the other side of things, Swenson right now has to think to himself, can I just get one more inch <laughs> in either direction? He's had two opportunities. Hasn't been able to convert. Now he takes control himself. Heads down the far sideline. Swenson looking for a chip. Now cuts it back. And he's going to play it back. No, he's going to play forward. Maybe a opportunity that time. But instead, Kaczynski with it. Now he goes with his left foot. Let's fly a shot. And it'll roll and bounce in to Tetro. Yeah, Sherman did a nice job shutting that ball down. Alex sometimes finds the top 90. So great job by Sherman to shut that shot down. Tetro will let it fly with the foot. Gets it to about midfield. And in the midfield, East Lime converges now. Old Lime controls with the body. Romeo getting beat up. Battle of the bigs. And Jakubczak that time <laughs> banging around on Quinn Romeo, but Old Lime gets it. Out to the far side it goes. Out there is Tresnan. Tresnan, who they've moved to the other side now. Yep. So they've put um, Quaratella on the near side, and they've slid Tresnan to the far side. And they're going to sub in, and O'Brien's going to get a break. See, I used to do that when I coached, when people were ready to me take them out of the game. <laughs> He's just get closer to me, <laughs> but not in this case. You're Coach transitioning. Vendetti. You're transitioning yeah. him out. That's right. <laughs> Move a little. Closer. That's right. East Lime will have a throw. We're down under eight minutes remaining. 7:45 here. No score in the first half. East Lime and Old Lime. You're watching Game Day live on the Day.com. Casey O'Neill, along with the coach Rob Brule, the sports doctor Keith O'Brien, as always, with us. But he's down on the sideline today. Pulling up interesting tidbits. Now, Cesar Navis to Kung. 
and off the head of Novice out of bounds. That was perhaps a novice play as it <laughs> went off his head. <laughs> Saw that one coming, Case. Yeah, when he didn't, though, it went off his head. No. Nope. Kung this time with a ped ball tries to put it back, but old line will have the throw. There's Quaratella to Sherman. Sherman plays it nicely back in the midfield, and there's a, a rare mistake by Syed, but that time it gets back, and it goes to Novice. Novice with a little run. Now East Line puts it to Kung. Kung's going to get there ahead, does. Well done. There's Tresnan on the far side. A little battle there. Yeah, Tresnan <clears throat> and uh, Sokolovsky banging each other on the far sideline. Sokolovsky will have the throw for East Lime. Now he'll turn it over and puts it on Novice's foot. It's a back to Kung. And a nice job all the way from his uh, back position. Getz comes with a slide and kicks it out of bounds. Six and a half minutes remaining. No score here in the first half. Ball loose in front. Nice job by Fava of old line. To Getz in the middle. Ooh. Oh, a nice steal. Kaczynski now. And a nice play by Pizzaglia, but no one was home. Pizzaglia that time for East Lime. Uh, Cooper Pizzaglia made the steal, turned and put it to where there should have been a rushing offensive player, uh, but nobody home. And East Lime will have to settle for a throw in from the far side. Yeah, sometimes on those quick turnovers, you just got to be the guy to take it, you know? You, you know, you don't have enough room. You don't have enough time for someone to help you. So Sherman puts it out of bounds as just trying to stave off some time. It'll stay East Lime throw. East Lime in Old Lime territory right now. They have vastly controlled the offensive action. <laughs> and then Old Lime has the best scoring opportunity. This is true. <laughs> and, and neither of them have been able to put the ball in the net up until now. It has been very much a game of patience on both sides. Like you said, the best opportunity – Old line, point blank shot, uh, but the majority of opportunities on the feet of East Lime, who probably, I think we could safely say, four or five times had balls where they were mere inches away from getting a clean look at goal. Yeah, and this field's starting to get stretched out. I don't know if you've noticed, you know, the field started getting a little stretched out, you know, so that doesn't bode well for Old Lime right now. Uh, Kaczynski put the nice ball up in front for Pizzaglia, but just a little bit too much, and Tetro cleans it up for old line and I think you you know you made mention earlier about uh which team transitions better yeah from uh, defense to attack yeah. yeah yep because you can see both of these teams are defensively oriented they're very comfortable they're playing the four across in the back yep so who can turn that into a quick transition the one thing we haven't seen here's a nice ball Pizzaglia has it in front here's an opportunity and a beautiful job coming all the way back for Old Lime was Malazzo. Here's a shot over the top of the goal. Where did that come from? What a blast. <laughs> Noam Sokolovsky with a blast. Young kid, too. 40 sophomore. yards out. Man, what a bomb. Sophomore, Noam <laughs> Sokolovsky with a rocket yeah, shot from 40 yards there. away. Coach C's like, where the heck's that been? <laughs> the one thing I haven't seen from these teams... And here's another opportunity. Steal by East Lime in front. Kaczynski plays up in front. And a nice job by Old Lime stepping in and making the steal side. And Chillum Kerthra comes up, though, but it's going to be played. Here's the ball we've been waiting for. I've been waiting for the long ball cleared by Kung. Neither team has yet tried to, to switch fields it. and yeah. stretch it out with a longer ball. We haven't seen that yet. It's tough to do again, like you said, with the four across. There's usually somebody back there. But as the ball, you know, as old lime starts to get comfortable, or should I say, as East Lime keeps playing in old lime's end, here's a through ball, and Tetro's going to come up. You know, all this time, uh, East Lime's been kind of in old lime's area. There. You're waiting for old lime to maybe try to do a quick hit, stretch it the other way. Yep. Uh, and then conversely, East Lime's been so good about playing it through the midfield. You got to think that maybe now's the time, with only three minutes remaining, some tired legs, maybe a little bit. A little bit more of a stretch. Yeah, absolutely. Up there, Sherman. He's playing it up ahead to Welch. He might get there. Welch will get there, and it cleared out nicely by Novice. And it'll be old line ball on the throw. And that's going to be down there thrown in by Romeo. And he's going to dry the ball off again is Quinn Romeo. He of the long throw. So this is an offensive play here yep. for old line. Flick it on and see what happens. Romeo approaches, long throw, short side, head ball, Sherman. And there's 
Lal to clean it up for East Lime. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to head it to goal, where sometimes you want to flick those on for a second run. Old Lime, I like that decision that time by Malazzo. Yeah. He thought about playing it backwards, and he said turned it back up. I like that transition. Me too. You know, you have two minutes left. Get him off. Oh. Going to get a whistle and back him up. He just took, took an extra 10 yards. You know, did a nice job watching as Coach C moved Alec back. He put in, uh, what is it, Pizzaglio? Is that, you know, 19? Yes, Connor yeah. Pizzaglio. Yeah, Cooper, you know. Uh, doing some good stuff up front, showing some good wheels, some good motion, you know, good movement up front with Duncan. Yeah, another uh, sophomore. I like the kid. Another sophomore. Pazagli's a sophomore, and uh, we see some, you know, and we see Sokolovsky sophomore, put in some young kids with some fresh legs, and yep. I like that moving. You're right, moving Kaczynski. Yep. Back so get, a little bit, yeah. Get some more touches on the ball. Because yeah, he's a distributor too. He can put the, he can certainly score, but he's no stranger to to distributing the the soccer ball. No, he's a consummate team player too. You know, he gets it done for for the Vikings. He's a field general. He's talking right now to his teammates, probably letting them know there's only a minute left. Let's be smart. You know, he's a great player. He plays, you know, at the national level now, sure. regionally. That's so fantastic. You know, it's, it is. It's it's great for the area. And after the half they've had, the last thing you want to do as East Lime <laughs> is, is give up some cheapy with a minute left in the game. You've dominated the first half. Yeah, yeah, because Coach C is going to go in and not make too many adjustments. Old Lime, minute left, run through the middle. Oh, whiff by Chillum Kurthy in front. Opportunity for Old Lime. Ball loose and nicely played out that time by Jacob Zach. And shielded. Sherman was with a run, but Lal did a nice job. Got there first. Looking for a quick transition is East Lime. In front. Head ball. Comes down to the Vikings. And they're going to calmly play it back. 30 seconds remaining. Jacob Zach. In front, Kung. Still a lot of time on the clock. Kaczynski, 20 seconds left. Chips up. There's your guy, Pizzaglia. Still time. Pizzaglia gives it back to Novice. Oh. Novice Ooh. loses it out of bounds off old line. Under 10 seconds. I'd like to see a service in there. You know? Pizzaglia back to Chillum Carthy. Got a chance for one more shot, and they will not get it off. And that will bring us to the end of the first half. Right. No score between the East Lime Vikings and the Old Lime Wildcats, but not for a lack of offensive opportunities. Uh, certainly on the Vikings' end, uh, they were all over uh, the offensive end of Old Lime, but not any scoring in the first half. Yeah, but that's, you know, tired legs and not sharp in the final third of the field. So, I mean, that's kind of what you would have expected. We have no score, and I know the sports doctor is down on the sideline. We'll hear from him some point here during halftime. But in the meantime, we will continue on here and talk about all things sports. Well, I think this tonight is uh, youth night here in East Lime. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is youth night. So it's going to be fun to watch these guys get after it. Shout out to the East Lime Soccer Association for doing such a great job with these kids in town. One of the largest soccer clubs in Eastern Connecticut, um, and it shows. Got a lot of diehard volunteers, good people, good soccer people. Uh, they do a really nice job in the area. Man, so good soccer already from these guys, young guys out there right now. I know Sherman <laughs> have his hands full. <laughs> this is one of the uh, best weekends of the year. You know, the opening weekend of uh, when the full sports really opens up. You know, some of the soccer teams have played already and stuff, but. Uh, football started uh, this week, and soccer in earnest has really started. And, yeah. and now your fall sports will start to go, and, uh, and soon volleyball will be in Going. full swing. And um, Is there anything better, though, for you, Case? I mean, you like you just said it. I mean, fall sports are here. High school sports is such a, you know, a, just a, such a stone, like such a foundation in our communities. And what do, you, do, you, do you get that excitement every fall when it comes around now? Like what you guys are doing with game day and with sports doctor? I do, and, and Sports Doctor is part of the reason why, because because he remind he, he gets so jazzed up for, by <laughs> by high school football. But you know, I, I have to say, you know, it's it's the stories, the stories uh, each year, and and so yeah. you look last night uh, at New London High School, you know, a new coach Johnny Burns, yeah. you know, and yeah, thousand people showed up to the opening game, and Commander uh, gets one hundred seventy five yards, unbelievable, like, you know, him, yeah. you know, it just the atmosphere, you know, uh, new coach in. Uh, uh, in Ledger and a new coach in NFA and NFA with a huge win over uh, Xavier last night and just so you yeah. get a lot of the of the energy of the high school football and then soccer you know I, I watched a video of uh, uh, 
Sienna Chaponi the in her and her and her in her flip throw at Waterford <laughs> which which she has uh she has challenged me to to, to attempt uh, and I said to her as much as I love our game day challenges uh, that had, there's only three things you need to know if I tried the flip throw 911 absolutely but that's one of the most athletic uh plays in all of sports a uh, combination of, totally. of gymnastics and uh soccer and uh, you know, it's not just for show. She puts the ball on net. She puts it right where she needs it to be. Big, and a big a victory for them. It ah, is. It's a weapon. She's a gr great athlete. Come on, great family. How about how about Jr. You know, come on. It's just a great family, great sports family in Waterford. Yeah. And, and Melissa is probably the best athlete of all of them. I was uh, I was there on the yeah. on the night that was, she was a, a guard. Her and her twin sister <laughs> guards at Mitchell College yeah. for basketball. And uh, my good friend Jr. Chaponi said I have a date with a one of the, the basketball players at Mitchell. He came home that night very much smitten, and the rest, is, as they say, is history. I'm going to bring in the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien, and I'm, you're going to stay put. He's going to chat with you about all things sports. Sounds good. Sports doctor moving a little slow, so we're going to get him in here now. That's good. <laughs> uh, thank you, Casey O'Neill. High school football started? Did uh, somebody say high school yeah, football we, started? Uh, I mean, my goodness. We do. You heard that. I was at Waterford uh, Ledger this morning over at uh, Ledger High School, and it was for the first time in over a year, the Waterford Lancers got their first win, 14-13, uh, for head coach John Strecker, uh, first-year coach for Ledger, Clay Killingsworth. He's got the program. He's spent a lot of time over at you know at NFA. He was a head coach over at Woodstock. So I, I felt very good for the Waterford kids uh, coach because of the yeah. fact that I know a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, James Elliott's a good friend of mine. Yep. His son yep. plays, um, you know, Nico Tebow, uh, Marcus Lavelle. Uh, I was happy for that group. I was happy they got a win. Uh, they got off the snide. Totally. And it's a lot easier going to practice on Monday morning <laughs> coming off of a victory it's, than a it loss. It sure is. You know what? Football is the, the, the heartbeat of your school. Yeah. And they do well and they win or they, you know, they have that big game. It resonates throughout the school system. So all of a sudden, you know, you have, you know, a team that was struggling last year, young, playing yeah. for one of the best football families in southeastern Connecticut, the Streckers. Right. And to see such great guys finally get that win and get their good win. Now, it wasn't a work of art. Uh, I'll no. tell you, there was a lot of ups and downs <laughs> in that game. But finding a way to win, win helps you build adversity as well. So some of the case you'd mentioned, London with a big win last night. Um, yeah. Obviously, Fitch with a stunning loss. I, I think that'll be a uh, – and I'm looking forward to doing Fitch this year with Casey because I think Fitch is one of those teams where uh, Mike Ellis may have to battle disciplinary issues there or, or just keeping guys in line a little bit. A lot of talent, uh, maybe some selfish players, but, you know, they'll figure it out. Right. It's very right. interesting watching the first half over in the sidelines too. I think talking to both these coaches um, – both teams started very slowly. Yeah, they did. East Lime, Paul Christian said, said, you know, we're extremely flat. We're a little tired. We didn't last night at 9 o'clock. And, and then Coach Vendetti on the other side, you know, same type of thing. You know, what we've been practicing, practice schedule has been erratic. You know, so I didn't know how my team was going to react, yeah. especially not in the first 10 minutes. You know, this is not a, this is not a scrimmage. This is not practice. <laughs> right. This is a live game. Right. So right. I, 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 I think you saw the action. Pick up a little bit you did. midway through the first half. Yeah, they're a young team. I mean, what, they had 28 kids try out for the entire program. Yeah. yeah. And they're young on top of that. And they haven't had any consistency with trainings. They play on grass. and they're uh, Yeah, like, yeah, another good point, yeah. I'm not giving any excuses because, you know, they play enough turf in Premier and all the other sports to be okay. But you see the, all that stuff, and you go, guess what? If you said it was going to be 0-0 at half against East Line with 85 kids trying out, Right. And the best player in the state of Connecticut, possibly. So, yeah, yeah. I like my chance of being 0-0 at half. Right. Now, the other point that, that Coach Christensen had made to me during on the sidelines, he said, you know what, soccer is one of those games where you have an opportunity. Yeah. You get very few of them. You get very few of them. You got to cash yeah. on them. We saw, we saw a close goal down here. We saw on both ends. East Lyon probably had more of the scoring opportunities. They did. But he looked at me and said, Keith, he said, soccer is just one of those games where you you don't get a lot of chances. Oh. You know, when there's a ball on net and you got an empty net and, you know, 
you got to make a play. And that's and he said that's the difference in some of these games because both these teams are very evenly matched. Yeah, they are. They're both, you know, they're organized, they're well coached, they're well disciplined. You know, they come from a tradition of good soccer. Uh, they, a lot of these kids play all year round, so it's just a great, you know, just a great venue for these guys. But in terms of, you know, the game of soccer, you could outshoot sh out shoot a team 15 to 1 and lose 1 yeah. nothing. And it yeah. happens a lot. Like, if you coach long enough, we've all been on the other end of it. And you could have seen that tonight. East Lime dominates, dominates, dominates that first half. No doubt about it. They dominated. Right. Attacking third. Who had the best opportunity? Old, Old Lime. Lime. That's right, so old time. Yeah, one shot. that goalie made a heck of a oh, save a over there. He's standing save. on his head. You know, when you, when you talk about that too, the yeah. coaches are very, very calm on the sidelines. And I mentioned to both these guys, it's it's not like a football game no. where the coaches are going, you know, or basketball, basketball, yeah. where they're going bananas in yeah, every play because yeah. they know they know it's a long game. Yeah. You know, they know. I I think the number one thing, and you guys both said it during the first half, is the defensive discipline is tremendous. Yeah. You you have to be. You can't. You can't leave areas or men vacated because with two good teams like this, if there's a player open in free space, they're, they're going to find you. They're going to find them. And I think that's the credit to the coaches. Coaching staff have been together. Their assistant coaches have been with them forever. You know? Yeah. It's a program. It's a. It's not a team. And I think that's why you start seeing both of these teams so organized. They're not going to give up many goals. Old Lime's not going to give up many goals. No. East Lime's not going to give up because many goals. Because they won't give you the opportunities to score those goals, correct? Right. right. They're going to prepare. They're going to make sure that they defend, and then from there. And I like how East Lime to be, you know, how they transition from defense to attack. Yeah. Had a little bit more in the attacking third, the middle in the attacking third, and I think that's going to end up being the difference. That's going to end up being a breakaway, a finish. Um, and I think that's going to be, you know, Alec will be one of the differences. And the kid, uh, you know, Pazaglia coming off the bench with Duncan, you know, up front. I think there's there's a lot of power. At East Lime's front line. And right. I think they're just going to break these guys down eventually. Uh, but who knows? You know, these, zero, these zero. coaches are coaches, the, yeah, 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 they, coaches I mean, of the year, man. Well, they know, they, they, they they know, know the they book got. on each other, too. Yeah. I mean, you've been in this position before, you know, yeah. with a team, first game of the season, second yeah. game of the season. Um, obviously, East Lime went to win last night. Is this game more important to Old Lime to get a victory under their belt? Or is it the... You know, I, I I don't know who's the game more important to. Yeah, I think uh, I think both of these teams, this game is very important. For East Lime, I think it's more important because is it a fluke that you knocked off Waterford last night? Or are you that good? Right, you right, know? right. And you're playing on your home field. So we always used to say, let's don't lose on our home field. Let's take care of home field. Yeah, that's so that's a key. That's important. Like you, you know, said, you've got them where you want them. You're on the turf. You know what I mean? you got you're, youth night. you got every you got, young yeah, everybody's, player yeah, yeah. in the town of East Lime watching you play. I think there is a lot, little bit of pressure more on East Lime to perform tonight. And that's going to will them to a little bit more of an effort with tired legs. That's what I think. And uh, But Old Lime's not laying down. They're playing, you know, pretty simple. They're playing the way they face. Uh, they're trying to get wide. Uh, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to get away from the script. Um, but it's going to come down to one little special Will play. it come down to one of these teams making a play or one of the other teams making a mistake I, and the other team feeding off it? It's a great question because I think it's going to come down to a play. I think mistakes are made off of Somebody's going to step up and yeah. make a play. Someone's going to make a play which will create a mistake, and I think that's what ends up happening. So, And I think with East Lime's skill positions, one guy that's kind of been under the radar all first half, and you probably saw it over there, sports doctor, was Kung. Yeah. He was just everywhere. Right. And he was doing all the little stuff, marking their best player, Sherman, taking him, winning 50-50 balls, keeping possession, transitioning from defense to attack. He did a nice job in the middle doing all the – well, Casey and I were calling the grunt work. You know? Right. But he's skilled. He's composed. Yeah. So it's fun to watch him. I've never seen coaches in my life so calm with officials either. <laughs> they are everything is a sir and please. you know and please and you please know I mean this, did you not see that I'll bring in Casey in a second? <laughs> but you know if you were on the sidelines here last night with the East Lime coaching football staff or where I was this morning over Ledger High School, the referees <laughs> in football and in basketball do not. Get that same common common courtesy, Casey. <laughs> well, this is why people around the world think we're Neanderthals here in this country because they're out there down there conveying it, going, going. When you get a nice ball, it's lovely, lovely, <laughs> sir. A little aggressive there, sir. Don't you think? That's great. Oh my goodness! You know, and you sports doctor, you nailed it right on, nailed it right on the head. Both of these coaches calm. You know, yeah. this is not uh, not their first rodeo. No, it ain't the Olympics right now. This is, let's see what I got. Let's assess this. 
You know, yeah. they did all their coaching yeah. before the game. So, yeah, and a lot of these yeah. high school oh, coaches are so much better now. Really, I mean, think about the like, we had we had no no offense, but we had guys you know that were teachers yeah. and guys who were volunteering to get a program started. Yes. Now you've got professionals, like professional players, and you got professional like they go to clinics and conferences all year long, and they coach premier all year long, like. They coach these guys for the game, you know, which is a little bit different than when we grew up, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think you, you hit the nail on the head, you know, back as East Lyme will control the start the second half, now going left to right in the maroon. No score, East Lyme old line, Casey O'Neill and the coach Rob Brule here from East Lyme High School. And a nice through ball and controlled. It'll be an old line throw. Uh, you know, we had high school, right? We had high school coaches that were, you know, shop teachers, and they were reading books in, you know, how to coach soccer. And right. I mean, that's that's true. Uh, and these guys are, you know, elite players and elite coaches. And and I will say that, uh, you know, those times haven't changed. I laugh. There's uh, coaches now who say, I got, you know, I went on YouTube last night and right. I learned, right. I learned a little bit. So they're all, even these guys, that they're as good as they are. Are also have more access to information, to great coaching. I mean, a guy like Paul Christensen has been around forever, but you know, if he wants to learn how to install something that's unfamiliar, a new to formation. Him, yeah, or, yeah, he goes on YouTube, and right there before practice, in half an hour, he can have a you know a real dynamic training session on a different you know a different formation. And that's it's something so that didn't. I mean, that didn't exist before. You know, and I, uh, it's interesting. I saw my high school soccer coach Tom Kelly. I saw him recently, <laughs> uh, and we were reminiscing a little there he bit. Goes. There. That's going to be a – we're going to wait for a whistle, no whistle. And that ball, if that goes out of bounds, that's going to be a goal kick. And I think definitely Kaczynski was thinking that he was fouled that time, but he's uh, pleading his case to the official. But <laughs> He may have a good point, though. I, I mean, he definitely got banged. He definitely got tripped. The question was, did, old, did the online player have position, you know, on him? And it was just – it was uh, incidental contact. But it was definitely contact. Yeah, and the way he's smiling, though. Yeah. You know, might say, you know what, good call. Joe Filipetti. You've seen that before. O'Brien now on the side. Gives it over to Romeo and ball squirted up front. Here's a run in the middle. Just, oh, I like the energy by Getz. He just couldn't get there fast enough. 38 minutes here yes. remaining in the ball game. No score. And we'll have a throw in on the far side. And that looks like they're going to have Romeo throw it in. Romeo, who they do use as an offensive, uh, you know, this is a set play off yeah. of a throw in. He'll head back all the way to the fence. Flicking this on. Don't don't try to score off it initially. Flick it on. Second runner. You know, that's the most, probably the best chance here. Short post. There's the fl aforementioned Ooh. flick. And East Lime able to get a foot on it and head it towards the sideline. But handball. kept in handball. That's going to be off of Finn Powers' hands. Nice job by Quaratella. But you and see Sherman just right there, slowing everything down. We're not in a hurry, guys. Slow everything down. Give ourselves a chance here. Because set pieces could end up being the difference in the game. So, senior captain. We'll have a kick. Sherman's going to take it on the far side. Getting the ball on his foot in a different position. Normally, he'd be the one down trying to receive this. But he's going to get it off his foot instead. Definitely a dangerous spot here for East Line. Sherman. Good ball on goal, looking for a run, and no, nothing home. How does that ball get all the way through the East Lime end and no one gets anybody Tresden, on it? Tresden's going to be thinking about that one all night. He was there, timed his run perfectly. The ball was perfect. The only thing that was not was the header that was missed. I like him. I like that Tresden kid out of the back. Does a little bit of everything. Lal with the long goal kick for East Lime. A little shoving going on. So even these throw-ins, you see how high old Lime's up. You know, pinching pinch the field. You know, East Lime doesn't want to play up over the top. They're forcing them to do it. They got their goalie out high, you know. So they're trying to dictate a little bit here. A lot of action right now for not a lot going yeah, on, but here's a ball. Kaczynski makes a move. Oh, and what a great opportunity lost that time. He wants that one back. Kaczynski had a chance, had a foot of room, and couldn't get the good shot off. Yeah, we talked about great coaches in high school. Warren Swanson, Mike Jackson, you know, and Mike Jackson always said to me, accuracy instead of power. And that is really the best advice I ever got. 
you know, don't have to hit the snot out of it. Just have to hit it in the right spot. And that, Alec wants back. He could have passed it by the keeper, one nothing. But adrenaline's flowing, and you're one of the best players in the state. You know what? He'll figure it out. I think that's one of those ones, if he had ten chances at that, he gets maybe seven really good shots exactly. on goal. And that time, just one of the times he did not get – he got, uh, like you said, a little bit too much foot. He was trying to go with that uh, – with the outside curve, you know, the, the yeah. screwball. Uh, <laughs> got it on the outside of his left foot, and I think he wanted to get it on the inside of his left foot so he could put it on goal. And uh, I don't think he'll, he'll miss that one again. Nope, he won't. Nice ball, East Lyon. Oh, no, that's great a ball. beautiful ball down. Power tries to put it in front, and nice job that time. Old Lyme getting back on defense, but East Lyme's starting to uh, exploit the. Yeah, they're exploiting that flat back four. They're looking to play in, splitting those defenders, and that's how you have to beat these guys. Force those backs to face their goal, causes problems. Kaczynski will take the corner kick from the far corner. Each post covered, and sometimes that is not done, but Old Line will put a body on both posts and keep uh, Tatro in the middle. Nice ball in front and a nice punch out by Tatro. It's well done by the goalkeeper. In traffic. And Kung does a nice job shielding. And now they'll go on the other side. Short, Kung. Short corner. Malky in front, far post. Kaczynski head ball, and it's just wide. Great save by the keeper. I think he got his hand. Yeah, he did. Great save. Alec had near post. Nice ball. Malky put it right on. Kaczynski got a lot on that head he ball. He and you're right, Tatro got a hand on it. So Kaczynski will take the corner. Another opportunity. Low liner in front. There's Sherman. Gets a body on it and puts Not it afraid. back out. Yep, fearless. Old Lime just trying to clear right now. They're on their heels for sure as East Lime has upped the pressure. Kaczynski, and a nice job. Old Lime will have an opportunity. And I, I have to be honest with you, I appreciate the patience of Old Lyme because at this point, my frustration level would be I would just want to launch one yep. just to clear it out and, and you know catch my breath. Yep. But they are very disciplined, and they are still trying to make a good transition here out of the midfield. Yep, they're trying to play the game. They're trying to play you know station to station, keep it methodically, work it across the field, find the forward's feet, play the way they face. Sherman's going to get called for being He's got his both hands out right now going, what? I didn't do it. I think he. I think that's a play on. He and Kong were both battling for the ball, and uh, yeah, you know that's one of those ones where you might want to just let them play. But they did have a little bit of that contact earlier, so quick whistle here in the second half. Yep. No score, and it'll be a East Lime Vikings kick. Malky, who we know has a very strong leg, approaches the ball at the 41. Malky low line drive loose. Who's gonna get there first? Old Lime. East Lime gets a foot on it, and it'll be a East Lime throw. That's good work by Grubb to get to that ball. You know, he put pressure on them. He's got good speed, good size out of the back. Arsenault with the throw. East Lime in control. Old Lime trying to desperately clear right now, but Kung keeps it in. Nice stuff by Kung. Arsenault puts it on in front, far post, and a nice cleanup by Tetro. The field is starting to tilt, as we, we've, we've noticed. A whistle. First goal is always the toughest to get in these games, you know, with the motions running high and it's Derby, Battle of the Limes, Youth Night, 1,000 people here probably watching, and now all of a sudden it's – the hardest goal to get is the first one, but once you get it, boy, this could open up. Absolutely. This Father that up. time with the beautiful slide tackle on Kaczynski. It will be a throw in. Arsenal puts it on near post. Head ball. A little touch. East Lime still controls. Low line drive. Opportunity, and Tatro <laughs> is there. Manthouse what? had a chance. What a great effort there. Who's that? Uh, was that Duncan? Yeah. Yeah, Duncan on the... Uh... On the deflection there. Arsenal put it right Wait. in, and Manthouse <laughs> had a chance. Manthouse was the right place, right time. East Lime right now, though, has been really, really in control. And this is where you get a quick shift like this and an opportunity. Old Lime just wants one chance to get a through ball. Kaczynski 
Wanted to flick it to himself, but East Lime a little overzealous that time. Arsenal now with a throw. Wants to put it down in the far corner to Kaczynski, but too much air on that one, and it'll be a goal kick. I like Nick Fava in the back there, number five for old Lime. You know, he's dropping off. He's dropping off of uh, Alec, you know, so he's not going to stop him from turning. He knows that. Alec can turn on the best of them. But real smart defender, real dangerous, stopping a real dangerous player. Whistle on the field, and East Lyme will have another opportunity. I mean, they have lived in the old Lyme end in this early part of the, of the uh, second yeah, half. Yeah, I think Coach C at halftime said, we got to run out these guys. we got to get after them. we got to, you know, force the issue a little bit. You know, depth and first game for, like, for old Lyme. You know, the old Lyme hasn't gotten their lungs yet. This is yep. their first game, and East Lyme running players at them. Absolutely. High ball up over the head. A beautiful save, save by Tetro. What a great save. Malky with a beautiful long ball up high. Looked like it might sneak under the crossbar. And the undersized keeper we talked about, Tetro, went up and got a hand in it and punched it out over the top of the crossbar. That's what Coach Vendetti said at the beginning of the game when we talked to him before the game. Great athlete. <laughs> Two words. And there you go. Had it right there. Kaczynski in the middle. Head ball. Loose. Trying to clear. There it goes. And there's Tetro in good position that time. Not a lot on that ball, but Tetro is exactly where he needed to be. And now he'll roll it out, and we're going to try to have Getz for Old Lime. And this is very, very Old Lime-esque. This is what they do. They try to play the game. Roll it out of the back. How many high school programs are doing that? You know, it's, yeah. he sticks to the script. When he plays all the S schools and he plays the shoreline, which is very competitive this year, it was highly competitive last year, um, it's going to prepare him to play those teams. So we're going to get a throw in for Old Line. Still no score. They put the ball into Sherman's feet. Sherman battled with Navas. Navas loses it. That time it was Manthaus, rather, with Sherman. They were battling, and out of bounds it goes. Old Line throw. Tresnan, and we have a whistle. We have a substitution. We're going to sub out. Old Line's going to sub O'Brien out of the game, and into the game is going to come Garrett Smith, the junior. Now his old line is going to need some people to get a little a little fresh legs on here. Yep. Kind of settling into more of a 4-5-1, it seems, with old line. You know, attacking with one. Be organized defensively. The first set piece, kind of what we talked about at the beginning of the game. You know, how much how much just wind is being taken out of the sails of old line right now? Because they have lived in their defensive end the entire second half. Yeah, I think after that first half and what they did in the first five minutes, East Lime's taking it to them. Um, they know it. They're sensing it. But they're going to play organized, keep their shape, and do this. Nice transition by Old Lime, and out of bounds, it'll stay Old Lime ball. Sports Doctor, you got something for us. Yeah, Casey, I just had a chance to talk to Old Lime coach Mark Vendetti. He says, you know what, we gotta, we got to settle down find a rhythm find a tempo of the game he says you know we're still not playing our game you know we're back on our heels a little bit i thought that he made a great point he says we're just not doing we're just not playing soccer right now we got to find a rhythm of our game and i think that help, hurts because you know the lack of practice time last week first game jitters he's like we're just not playing soccer very well right now yeah, yeah so doctor thank you very much they are definitely uh not in any offensive rhythm that's for sure they have not found anything offensively they've had that one great shot a uh, couple of other small opportunities, but for the most part, they've been trying to keep East Lime from breaking through. The Vikings have been just putting the pressure on. And like you said, at halftime, it appears that Coach Christensen said, let's turn up the heat even more. Let's put and now the danger in that, as we talked about, is a team as skilled as Old Lime can very quickly transition out of it and get a scoring attack. But so far, East Lime has been rock steady on the defensive end as well. Yeah, see this ball right here, we like to – yeah, there you go. Change that point of attack. Make East Lime work defensively. Easy to fend straight up and down the field. But if you got to go sideways too, well, it adds a little, yeah, unforced error right there. I mean, it's, I think that's what Coach Vendetti is talking about with the sloppiness, you know, here and there. Yeah. But, give you, but let's give East Lime credit. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, they're not playing their game, but there might be an opponent having, you know, a lot to say about you not playing your game too. So That's right. Sometimes it's, it's you know, it's not so much – that you're not doing it, it's that you're not being allowed to do it, which Correct. is certainly Correct. the case here. East Lime has done a remarkable job. Throw in for East Lime. Jakubzak. 
Nice opportunity. Swenson. Swenson. Yeah. Low line drive. And again, very solid fundamentally. Go. Tatro. He's got good hands, huh? He doesn't drop much. Like you back in the day. <laughs> never <laughs> dropped, I, he never dropped anything. I, he's built like I was back <laughs> in the day, too, but no one ever put the words great and athlete in uh, any descriptive terms of me. So, But I do like any diminutive uh, keeper. Built looks like he should be playing uh, Australian rules instead of soccer. There's an opportunity. Old Lime had a chance there, but Getz couldn't connect. East Lime's going to clear, and Kung oh, loses it. There's Sherman. Little opportunity, but East Lime very, very solid in the back end. Getz might not be. Oh, he's got up. He looked like he got banged up pretty good there. He's shaking it off. Uh, to be young again, huh? Absolutely. Kaczynski, great ball. There's Swenson with an opportunity. Fields were switched. Swenson on a run through with Kung, and that was a nice job. Stepped through by Nava. Fada, Fada, Fava, Fava Beans. Nice Chianti. That's what I was looking for. There we go. <laughs> Play it back to the defensive line. There's Fava. He'll take it and switch fields. You know, just something like that basic right there, receiving the ball with his furthest foot, your, <laughs> your right back was just playing the game the right way. You know, <laughs> little things like that, you know, that just make you a better program. Oh, nice job Ooh. keeping it back in. Arsenal wouldn't let it clear. Ooh. Arsenal with a steal. Ooh. Arsenal puts it in front. Kung. And nice job, Old Lime stepping in front of it was Saeed. Oh, and now oh. here's another chance. Arsenal puts it in front. Here's a chance. Backside. There. Pushing it is Malky. And a nice job, Old Lime. And we're going to get a whistle. This could be dangerous. Malky's been hitting these all night. Alec has been hitting these all night. Uh, and this is where, in my, in my opinion, the, the game has changed the most over the last yeah. decade or so. Just this was this was not a scoring opportunity ten years ago, yep. and now now it's a skill. Like it's a skill set they all have now. Yeah, they can yeah. they can, just, they can <laughs> this. I expect this ball to be put on goal in a scoring opportunity. This goalie is going to have to make a save, yep. and that's not oh, has that was not the case uh, even as recently as ten years ago. Yeah, and, uh, I, and, and following this up, I mean, because these kids are hitting the frame, they're hitting the crossbars, they're hitting you know, follow it in. You know, Malky with the left, Kaczynski with the right. Here comes Malky. Kaczynski will take it right foot. Nice Ooh, job into the wall. Job the wall. And a clear from Old Lime. That's a moral victory right there for Old Lime. You know, moral victory. Get a great scoring chance. Shut him down. Frustrate them a little bit. Here's a little opportunity in transition. Old Lime, first uh, opportunity in a while. Down a far corner. and Welch. And a nice job. Deep throwing, just like a corner with... with with these guys, with yep. Quinn throwing it in. Yep, Romeo will go out. He'll take the throw in. I'm a little surprised that Kaczynski went low on that shot. I thought, you know, he would have tried to yeah. go far corner and then maybe try to get it up over the top of the wall. Yep. Uh, he wanted to try to go low, maybe get a, get a rebound or a deflection. Great job staying home by the old line defenders. Yep. Here comes Romeo. Low throw on the ground. Ball's in front. Dangerous. And just cleared out of bounds by East Lime. It'll be another throw for Romeo. Yep. Good defending there. Inside the foot, just get rid of it. Live to play another day. 22 minutes remaining here in the second half. Flying no by, score. is it? Flying it, by. It really is. It's it's you know, it's an exciting hey. scoreless game. It, is, it really is. Opportunity ball down low on the ground. Another chance. Nice rock solid defense by the Vikings. They'll look to transition. Long ball up ahead of everybody. Kaczynski ahead of the pack. Shielded it. A great job by Tatro to get him ahead of him. Beat him to the ball and clear it. For old line. We he saw, couldn't have defended that any better. No, we saw Kaczynski <laughs> score last year we on did. a ball very similar to that where he touched it to totally. himself. Yeah. He beat the keeper by a half step that time. Tatro got there literally a step ahead yep. of Kaczynski. And then you had uh, Nava. You had these guys defending, chasing him, shielding him off the ball. Like Great team defending there. Oh, Kung had a chance. Slide tackle oh, from be behind. That could be a card. By Getz, and we're going to see the official come up. And we're going to get a kick. All right. East Lime with an opportunity that time. Gets. Got very very fortunate. I like that, though. Don't. Anytime you can avoid a card when you don't think there's malice there, I don't mind that. Yeah. Gets is fired up, isn't he? Yeah, he thought it was clean. Yeah. Of course, everyone thinks it's clean. Yep. I never fouled anybody. <laughs> no, no, no. Never no. once. No. This time they're going to let Malky bang it. This is going to be the left foot. He's at the 30-yard line. And this will be a rocket on goal. The kid's got the leg for it, that's for sure. Yeah, this is that's good refereeing too. Settle down. 
Settle down. And, another, and also a, a nice job by his teammate. Fava came over and said, okay, look, pipe Knock down. It off. Don't, we're not going to argue with the official. You're not yep. going to get anywhere. Knock it off. We need you on the field. Malky, left foot, low, line drive, and a save made by Tatro, but out of bounds. It will be a corner kick. Absolutely. It's a big, this, this could be a big corner here. There's a, the small differences. That's a save he probably could have made. Uh, he did try to go dry. for the catch. Yeah, he yeah, tried yeah, to go yeah. for the catch, but you're right. Dry field. Yep. Maybe it's a little bit different. Now we're going to get a corner kick by Kaczynski. Yeah. If you're his coach, you're saying great save. You know, the other guy's saying, oh, unlucky. You know, one of the things, that's one of the small things that a keeper can do. Anytime you can catch it clean. Now there's a ball far post. It goes. Opportunity for Kung. Keeps it in bounds. Nice job. Stuff. Nice job, Kung, keeping it on his feet. Very physical down there. No whistle. And a beautiful steal and shove out from Getz. That's great defending. Good defending. Garrett Smith, newly into the game, down there battling with Kung as well. Yeah. Fava helping head that ball out. You know, just good defending. You know, Steve Hallahan, the assistant coach at Old Line, played with him uh, back in the Connecticut Soccer League days. Tremendous defender. Um, I can see why these guys are so organized. He Sherman, nice ball ahead. Romeo, loose ball. Oh. Here's an opportunity. Gets oh, tried oh. to put it out in front. East Lime stayed oh. steady. Old Lime, though, with an opportunity. And we got a handball. Old Lime's calling for it. They might have it. They might have it right outside the box. Might not be a PK. No, it's a big opportunity either way. That'll be a direct kick for Old Lime from just outside the... 18. Yeah, just outside the 18. They're going to... Put it on the far side, though. Not a great angle from there, but certainly a scoring opportunity here as Sherman will take the kick. Yeah, you like Sherman on the ball on these, chance, on these chances, too. Yeah. I'll, let's see if he puts it on goal or if he – I want to see, does he go far post? Does he – I'd love to bend one in right on that penalty spot or the six, top of the six, and run it in low. You know, that's the hardest ball for a oh, goalkeeper worst. to deal with. Absolute worst. You know? There it oh, is. He did. Perfect where he did it. It's loose in front. Save oh! ball. Another save oh! ball. And a oh! goal. Oh, my. Our first goal of the game. Set piece. Michael Malazzo. All night long. Yeah. East Lime has controlled the game. And with 18-34 in the ball game, Old Lime breaks through on a Malazzo goal after two brilliant saves by Sunil Lal. Absolutely. But there you go, set piece. You know, the great equalizer. Now all of a sudden, you know, we got a game. We got a game right now. I mean, you nailed it. Here's a long ball off of the Kaczynski and off the oh! crossbar. <laughs> it went through the hands of Tatro and it hit the bar. Oh, what an effort. We got a game. Yeah, you, know, you don't expect that shot. You know, Kaczynski, those floaters, though. Here we go. There's an opportunity. Kung will Ooh. step. Kung's got a position. He shoots. And it's oh, saved. Tatro in the post <laughs> conspired to deny it Kung. It ain't over. Look how quick that ball boy gave that ball to that guy. East Lime wants to put the pressure on. They're going to send. Now, here's they're going to send. They're training well here. They're going to send. Uh, Manthaus to take this. Oh, excuse me. They're going to send uh, Malky, Malky to take he's been this. He's been dangerous all night. Far post it goes. Looking for a head ball. There it is. Ooh. Swenson on the far post had it. Save Tatro. Old Lime survives. And look how well he just rolled that ball out. Calm. Effortless. Effortless. After almost losing the lead with a ball through his hands <laughs> off of the crossbar. <laughs> and then followed up with one off the, cro the other crossbar. Oh, that's funny. Here comes the change now. Nice job, Sherman, on the other side. There's Romeo. A little give and go, a little overlap and run with Sherman, but nice job that time, and yeah. we're going to get handball. handball by Swenson and Old Lime with a one nothing lead. Yeah, this is where you kind of start walking a little bit, slowing things down a little bit, work for the next free kick, work for the next throw and deep in their end. There's that patience of Old Lime paying off. You know, we talk about the goal of Old Lime. They had had one realistic shot on goal all night. Correct. Lal had made the save. And other than that, really no opportunities. But beyond that, East Lime was living in the Old Lime end. Peppering them. And they got a quick little, little turnover. And then that handball gave them a set play. And you nailed it. You said, Sherman, I'd like to see him put this thing right onto about the six. He did. They got... Uh, Bodies in the box. They went after it. Two shots 
Two great saves by Lal, but after the second one, he went to the ground, and the head ball beat him up top. And unbelievable uh, little course of action, how a game can turn in a matter of one play. Yeah, he was fearless. You know, the kid was fearless. He stuck his head in there. He deserved it. You know, he got after it, and he won it. So good for him. Now a little energy in the legs of old Lime after really being back on their heels for the majority of this game. And just like that East Lime, who's had opportunity after opportunity, they find themselves down one nothing. Let's see if they can stay patient. There's a nice flick by Kung. Kaczynski back to Kung, and we're going to get a penalty. And no play on there, huh? We're going to get a penalty. Anytime you got number three up front, you're all right. You have plenty of time. 15 minutes in change remaining here in the ball game. This, one nothing. This old is, line. This is where I'd like to see Alec up front in those tight little spaces. Yeah, I, would, I love the way that Malky has been putting the ball on goal. I'd let right. Malky take this one yeah. and, yep. and let, Alec be, let Alec be down there where he can be, uh, you know, like a little, Alec. little squirrel. Let Alec be Alec. Yeah. You ever seen those squirrels dart in front of your car? You don't know which way they're going to go? Yeah. yeah. That's what you want them to be right that's now. <laughs> you just don't know which way he's going to go. Three-man wall for Old Lime at the 25. Kaczynski tries to go far post to Kung. Nice job by Old Lime. East Lime will control. Old Lime pushing it out. There's Malky back to Kung. Kung's going to look to switch it back to the other way, but Old Lime intercepts with Getz on the foot of Romeo. Up ahead it goes, and a nice job. East Lime stays steady. Good Romeo. Romeo and Getz. Sherman making it up from behind, and it'll go all the way back to Lal. Lal can't clear. Old Lime with numbers. Gets in front, and he loses the ball. Now it's long the other way. Nice job. You hear Tatro yelling, keeper, keeper. My ball. Yeah. Tick tock. 14 and a half remaining. Old Lime with a 1 0 lead. An impromptu and unbelievably surprising 1 0 lead. Yeah, it really is. I mean, talk about going against the flow of the game. That was. That goal was it. Kaczynski puts it in front. Here's an opportunity. And oh, missed opportunity as Arsenal came over with the left foot, but Arsenal couldn't get it down. And he flies it over the goal. It'll be a goal kick for Old Line. Hey, one out again. Tatro very calmly puts it out there. Now gets, flicks it, and East Line will take over. That was another opportunity. East Line has had opportunity after opportunity and just can't get one into the goal. Throw in for the Vikings, just on their side of the pitch. Arsenal, now we'll have a throw in from Jakub Zak. Up ahead it goes, mouth, yep, nice job that time. Old Lime steps in front, here's a long ball. Romeo can't quite get there, but Sherman does. East Lime will control. Playing it back through the defensive end. Chillum Carthy up ahead to Kung. Kung turns, tries to find Kaczynski. Walled off nicely. And Old Lime through the midfield. There's Sherman with some space. Sherman up ahead. Ball in front. Oh, missed opportunity for Getz. He tried to chest it down for a volley. Maybe a little, a little half volley, and he <laughs> couldn't. Get it there in time. What a ball by Sherman. Oh, absolutely. Come on. I mean, he just floated it just hard enough over that one defender right onto a sprinting teammate. I mean, kid's good. Yeah, here comes the long <laughs> Romeo throw for Old Lime. Old Lime would desperately, desperately like to get the ball onto the foot of Sherman again. Here it comes in the middle. Ball Ooh. loose, far post. Headed out nicely by Sokolovsky of East Lime. And very heads up that time. Sokolovsky holds. Has a little room. Puts it through the middle to Swenson. East Lime with another opportunity. Oh, nice job that time by Getz. And Tresnan very calmly. East Lime with the throw. Yeah, the officials subs. are going to have a sub. One of the hardest plays in soccer is while you're, while you're running yep. to adjust your body yep. and control it a long ball like that, control it off your chest to put it right under your feet in a position to score. I mean, it's it, you've got three or four different things going on at one time. Absolutely. And a lot of these guys don't have two feet either. Like at this level, high school, you know, you, a lot of them don't have the left foot where they, you know, they have to kind of put it on their right. And I think that was, the, you know, the, the issue right there with Getz. He had, to, he had to kind of put it on his right so he could have a strike, you know. 
So, but I'll tell you, that ball was perfect. Yeah, it was right, right where it needed to be. East Lime now with the ball on their side, 11 and a half minutes remaining. They've controlled the game, and yet they trail one to nothing, thanks to a beautiful goal by Mike Malazzo of Old Lime after two saves by the East Lime keeper, Sunil Lal. And it's one nothing Old Lime with 11 minutes remaining here in the ballgame. Shots on goal have to be something like 15 to 2 at this point, and yeah. yet... East Lime trails one to nothing. Yep. There's a little opportunity in front. Vikings keep it in. On goal, there's the ball. Kaz oh, Kaczynski oh. got hammered. Well, that's going to be a penalty. Yeah, he did. Kaczynski got hammered. Adam Syed got him in the box. Let's see where they. P that's going to be a goal. That's going to be a penalty kick. Yep. That's why you leave that kid up front. Makes things happen. And so there's oh, here we go. Here's a, K, oh, yeah. here's a Casey O'Neill trick uh -huh. right here. Tatro takes a walk. <laughs> he says, this is going to be on my terms right now. <laughs> I did this against Chris Pedeswa. Yeah. And he proceeded to uh, miss hit the kick. I mean, I, it still scored, but, uh, you know, I, I definitely had him, I had him thinking. Had him thinking. Yeah, what's Desi doing now, huh? Uh, he's, 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 I made him switch to baseball. <laughs> it was that play. I got him off his soccer career oh, forever. That's great. Kaczynski oh. approaches. And scores! Yeah. A bullet past the diving Ryan Tatro, and we are tied up at one. 10-19 in the ball game. Alec Kaczynski, the senior sniper for East Lime, ties the ball game with the PK. What do you think this next five minutes is going to look like? I think, <laughs> I think East Lime now feels like they're right back to where they were yeah. a minute ago. Yeah. Not just that they're – but, like, they, they, this is their game right yeah. now. Yeah, I think so, too. I think this – that just gave them the little energy they needed. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. And if you know, if you're old lime, yeah. all that work you finally, all that work to keep them out of your end, and you and you give them a PK. Yeah. Yep. And I, you know, I know what happened. Side got just he got stuck. He was, you know, he's going full speed. And yeah. He got, and Didn't mean to push him. He just kind of off balance. Yep. Couldn't put the brakes on in time. Yep. It, it you yep. know happens. Yep. Oh, Sherman and Kung. That's a good battle on the far sideline. Both players taking their time. Sherman beats him inside. But Kung's going to need some bags of ice after tonight's game. Uh, uh, yeah, he got, he's, he's been getting beat up. Absolutely. Oh, nice job out there. No whistle. Yes, we're going to get a whistle. Yeah, that was Malky. Malky battling with Malazzo. Yeah. Malky's going to also have an ice bath after this one. He's been all over the place. Now they're going to let Joey Grubb take this kick from all the way back at the 40. But again, the modern soccer, uh, this is now a scoring opportunity from the 40. There's a high ball all the way down inside the 20. East Lime with a flick, and out comes Tatro to clean it up before Kaczynski can get, get there. I mean, that was not a scoring opportunity when, when I played. That was, you know, you didn't have to worry when the ball was on the other side of the field. No, we call that a prayer. Yeah, man, but now, huh. you know, put the ball, he put the ball right on the 18. He had four guys yeah. with an opportunity. You flick it on, the guy times it perfectly, he runs onto it, and he taps it in. It's like... <laughs> That didn't happen years ago. No, nah, the skill level. The skill level is fantastic. The amount of play Please. they get. I'll tell you right now, Chillum Kerthry has had an awful time with that wet ball. That's the third throw that he has struggled with. Yep. Which begs the question, will he get a fourth opportunity at a throw -in? I don't know. I think at this point they might take it out of his hands. Well, here we'll we see. go. Here we go. Nope, he's, he's going to – Yeah. New ball. Yeah, new ball. Sir, give me this. And Grubb came right yes. over and said, give it to me. Let's go. All right, all right. Good call. Run on, East Lime, opportunity, and a whistle. Hmm. And a whistle. They got Duncan Manthouse that time. Uh, I kind of like that by Manthouse, though. I didn't see I didn't see where the foul was unless he was grabbing the jersey. Can't see it that far from here. but The old line ball. Under eight minutes now remaining here in the ball game. This old line looking to switch fields. Back it goes to Tresnan. Tresnan. Inside with Malazzo. Malazzo back to Tresnan. Nice ball to Romeo. Malaz uh, and it will be out of bounds, and it will stay with Malazzo in old line. He gives it to Romeo because Romeo is going to make the long throw. You see Sherman. He's being marked by Malky. Yep, flick it on. Second run. Romeo, long throw. Headed out on the foot of Manthau, and 
Up ahead it goes. There's Kaczynski. Yeah, he timed that well, too. He was waiting for that to get through. Uh, there's the Jets by Kaczynski, turning it on. Stops on a dime. Pushes it back to his left. Puts it in front. And a nice job by Fava staying home. We'll have a throw in for Old Lime as we cross underneath the seven-minute mark here. 1-1. One, one. East Lime, Old Lime. Shoreline rivals. Old Lime says this is the biggest game of the year. Yeah. It was interesting, too, when they said that, because you always think Old Saybrook are, you know, kind of a, a league team. But, no, they, you're right. Coach Vendetti and, and Coach Hallahan were both saying, this is it. This is our game. This is Super Bowl. We'll play here every year. We don't want to play at home. We want to play here. Great venue, great hosts in East Lime, and they are rivals. Battle of the Limes. Old Lime trying to get a switch and out of bounds. It'll stay Old Lime ball. Six and a half minutes remaining, 1-1. One, one. East Lime and Old Lime. You're watching Game Day live on theday.com. Casey O'Neill along with the coach Rob Rule down on the sidelines patrolling the sports doctor as we bring you our inaugural coverage of the 2018 fall season here in Eastern Connecticut sports. Here's a far post run, and just over the foot. You might get that. Back in play. East Lime oh. looking for a little transition change. Good advantage call. Grub. Oh, just put it in the wrong spot. Manthau couldn't converge, but now he does. A little steal in the middle. Malky. Malky trying to find Kaczynski. Can he get there in time? Who's going to get there first? Oh, beautiful job by Tatro to shield Kaczynski. That'll be a goal kick. Kaczynski's trying to argue that it was, that it was off old line. Yep. Five and a half minutes remaining. 1-1 one, one tie. I love how Alec works, you know, up front. You know, he times his runs. He drifts off the run. Um, he rounds his runs. He Just the little things that why he's, he's such a special player. And his touch is, you know, just amazing. Yeah, his, his, he reads the game really well. It's just fun to watch. He's got the both things. He's got the skill set. Like you said, some kids don't have the one-footer. He's got all the skills, and he's got the, the uh, instincts of the game and the temperament. Here he comes on a little run down the left sideline. Kaczynski's now he's going to slow it up, wait for his teammates. And he spins, and does he draw a penalty? No. Nice slide tackle by Old Lime. Ooh. In front. Mantha, well done. Opportunity for East Lime, Ooh. but nothing home and out of it. And just getting rid of the ball all together is Tresnan. Well, a lot of hands on the hips for old Lime right now. Yeah, they're definitely yeah. tired. They're gassed. Grubb trying to keep it in, and he knocks nah. down Tresnan, and that's going to be old Lime ball. Don't need to do that. A little uh, over-enthusiastic. Tatro will come up. He bangs it with the foot, puts it up. Grubb battling with Romeo. Grubb will get the win on that one. Out it goes to Malky. Malky inside it goes to Kaczynski. Kaczynski with an opportunity. Step in front by Malazzo. Out of bounds. East line ball with 3.50 remaining. Viking throw in on the foot of Manthau. Nice cut move. Yeah, Puts it out well to done. Kung. Kung inside the 30. Looking to launch. Gets off a shot blocked beautifully by Malazzo. Malazzo with room. Who's going to get there first? Malazzo. And beating him to the ball. Nice job by the Vikings. That's Caligari, one of the captains. But Old Lime in transition. Although Caligari got there first, Old Lime ball. And Romeo will look to throw. We're going to see Getz back into the ball game, replacing Rory Kavicki. Romeo will have the throw on the far side for, excuse me, on the near side for Old Line. Here's a throw, high, head ball, loose, in front. East Lime trying to clear, can't. And now they're able to at least get it out, but Getz Ooh. keeps it back in, and then Chillum Kurthy is able to clear for East Lime, and Old Line will play it. Just trying to recenter. There's a flick by Sherman. Romeo tries to get ahead on it and does, but no one home. East Lime content to just try to clear it out. Kung battling with Tresnan. Tresnan, and it will stay old line ball. Tresnan off of Kung's Good foot. Good battle there. Really needed to win that. 
Tresden tried to get it onto the foot of Romeo. And now East Line. Could be dangerous. Grubb. And we're going to have a transition. They want Grubb back about five yards. Ooh. That was dangerous. You had <laughs> Kaczynski making a run down the near sideline. Now everyone will reset. <laughs> yeah, Finn Powers, like, can I throw? Where can I throw it from? Grubb stepped in front. Gets. And Getz is going to be called for the whistle as he just got on the inside of Jakubczak. And now Kaczynski with the ball for East Lime. Nice control. Little touch. Out it goes. Kung's calling for it. Power. Passes it. Malthouse now back. Little ball by Kung. And Unlucky on that. There's the save as Tetro comes out and cleans it up as we're down to a minute and a half remaining in a 1-1 game. Yeah, you'll see both teams play a little bit more conservative right now. Backs will just try to play a little bit more direct. Grubb steps in front. And then Tresnan just knocks it out of bounds as we're down to a 115 remaining. Hurrying up on the other end is Jakubczak. And there's Kaczynski. Touches it back to Kung. Good defending. A minute remaining. There's a little through ball. And cleared nicely as Syed came up and cleared it. There's a throw in for East Lime. Far side. Ball put in front. Kaczynski with an opportunity. Can he get there? He puts it in front. And scores! <laughs> Alan Kaczynski out of nowhere. 44 seconds remaining in the game. The senior for the Vikings gives them their first and only lead of the game. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. It was Kaczynski time. What a finish. What a goal. And a, a, just the energy has been sucked out of the old line team. Alec Kaczynski with a beautiful touch over Tatro, and he found the far side of the net. 2-1 <laughs> East Lime. Wow. I, I tell kids all the time, great players play great on game night. Well, guess what? <laughs> there you go. After a goal out of nowhere nope. from Old Lime, Kaczynski with back-to-back -back goals, the first on the penalty kick to tie it, and then a second on a gorgeous little touch, a little floater over the top of the sliding Tetro and finds the far side of the net. And just like that, 2-1 East Lime with 15 seconds remaining. And Old Lime shot. Yeah. Absolutely shocked. But they shouldn't hang their head. They should not hang their head at all. They just got beat by one of the best players in the state of Connecticut, and they played well tonight for and a young team. The clock runs out on the Wildcats. Your final score, East Lime 2, Old Lime 1, and they're rushing out to hug the senior, Alec Kaczynski. What a ball game. Don't go anywhere, or actually you can, you can go anywhere. Take a quick break. We will be back with the East Lime, Old Lime girls. Uh, game time is scheduled to start 20 minutes from now, uh, which will put us right on target for 7 o'clock. A 7 o'clock start, East Lime and Old Lime girls soccer. Your final here in game one, East Lime two, Old Lime one. Come on back in 20 minutes. You've been watching Game Day Live on the day.com. <laughs> 